Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here in the series. My name is Dominic and I'm the host of the Android Factory. So basically in the last episode, we went ahead and created the foundation, you know, modified the project to get Compose in uh, the project. And we went ahead and created a PR, a pull request from within Android Studio. And in today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and review that very same PR within Android Studio. So as we get started here, smash that like button, subscribe if you're brand new, comment down below if you've been here before. I'd love to uh, see some familiar faces. So as we see here, we can open up this pull request tab on the side and we can go ahead and click this little arrow over here to go ahead and get into like, you know, PR mode, so to speak. So we have high level information at this point here. You can go ahead and see the branch we're going into, the branch that we pulled into the main branch. Uh, and then, you know, some information, right? So we have the title of the PR, we have the description of the PR. We can see there are some options down here at the bottom to close it. We have no conflicts with the current branch. We can merge, we can rebase and merge, we can squash and merge. So we have all the functionality that GitHub provides us, but if we go ahead and take a look at the files, boom, immediately we already have a better view. I know GitHub updated to kind of give you this idea so you can see, you know, where the files are changed inside of what directories and structures but this obviously looks a lot more familiar for us inside of Android Studio, right? We know that blue screens or, or sorry, blue names of files means that there have been modifications to that files, whereas a green name means that it's a brand new file that was added here, right? So you can immediately tell, hey, you know, what happened, what changed, all that kind of stuff. It's already color coded like we're used to. Then on top of it, you, know, you can go ahead and double click Go ahead and close this emulator real quick. Double click and now you can see the diff inside of Android Studio. So this is helpful for a handful of reasons, right? A, we're in our IDE, we're using everything that we're familiar with, but B, if there was some complicated text here, you know, or, or complicated work, you could see more than just what GitHub provides you, right? You can see the context in which a for loop is running. You also get everything being highlighted like you're used to. So you can very easily see, you know, how things are indented properly. Uh, you know, you get the benefit of, you know, just, just like the normal highlighting syntax that you get in the IDE. So to me, this is just so much better, right? Up top here, we have a whole handful of different options for, uh, you know, viewing. You can do the side-by-side -side viewer or the unified viewer. This page doesn't really show a good example of that because it's all brand new, but this is the side-by-side -side view and then you have the unified view here, which allows you to just work with whatever screen real estate you have, uh, you know, to make your viewing and reviewing experience that much better. You can also comment and whatnot. So if you just want to give a single line comment, you can um, start a review of the comment, add a single comment. So might as well, right? You can go ahead and, you know, put in your, your text here that you cared for and you can also, ah, I believe you have to highlight the code that you're you're interested in commenting on, and then you can submit a uh, multi-line comment, which is uh, you know super powerful as well. You do that all the time inside of GitHub. So there's really no functionality uh, you know that that we're missing here. For instance, we like the fact that this is a, a, a composable, so we'll go ahead and start a review with a multi-line comment. You know, compose for the win. Go ahead and click this uh, little, you know, send icon over here to basically start our review. We see that it's pending. You can edit it, you can delete it, you can, you know, reply to it. I guess if this was someone else's comment somewhere, you could see. Um, you get some information here on the side panel about comments and where they are. And every time you view a file, we see this little blue dot over here. And if we go ahead and view the file, we see, okay, we added in this one line and now that blue dot over here is gone. If you just click on it and kind of navigate to that file, you know, you'll go ahead and just, you know, clean that up. So you can make your way through the PR uh, file by file. You can also, within a file, you can, you know, you can use these little options, these arrows up here in the top left to just navigate you through all the different changes, through all the different files. Uh, I think this, yeah, you can just go straight to the next file through this one if you want. Uh, so really, we're not missing anything is the point here. And then, uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and submit our review. Uh, you know, it looks good to me. We'll go ahead and comment that. We submit our review like such. And then let's see what happens inside of Android Studio there. So if we go over to our conversation, we can see here we submitted the review here. Looks good to me. We have, you know, this little inline thing composed for the win as we obviously uh, you know, would normally see even if you were to just modify and, and comment on these files in the UI. So you really get all of, 
again, I keep <laughs> sound like a broken record, but you really don't miss out on functionality and you have the added benefit of not needing to context switch, being able to see everything inside of the IDE that we know and love and possibly just, you know, be a better reviewer by, uh, you know, just having these additional tools available to you. And then we can go ahead and uh, it was just one commit anyway, but we'll just go ahead and squash and merge. And so we'll see here, you know, what the actual final uh, commit message will be. Go ahead and click merge. And now we see that it has this purple icon. We see the pull request is merged. We go back to our list. We see that this one is uh, already merged in. So what you can do is kind of set like a state here and open and then search like that. And now these are the only the open PRs, right? And then I think there's a closed state and obviously the one that is merged in, we now see closed. So we can go ahead, let's just quickly refresh. We now see that this PR is merged here. We see that, uh, you know, uh, this account went ahead and merged it into main. And now we do not have any more pull requests. So again, there's literally nothing we're missing. We're on our composed come branch here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's our main branch. We'll go ahead and check it out. And then we will go ahead and update our project, merge in all of our commits uh, or all of our changes. And we can see here that we have you know, that 10 files updated, that one commit, we have all the info that we need. Rerunning the project here, we do see uh, everything up and running. I do think this API is slowing down for some reason, I'm having issues connecting to it. But most importantly, we know this is up and running because we have our middle tab here. This is all in Compose. Uh, yeah, I think I just got a timeout exception that I'm not handling. So the API again, a little wonky, but the point is the PR, you can do everything inside of Android Studio. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Like if you made it this far, subscribe if you are brand new. And uh, I look forward to bringing some composed content very shortly.